don't need bigger knife. Yeah. Welcome back once again. We are here to carry out the end portion of our Sunday night evening brouhaha rapscallion misadventures. <laughs> of misadventures. We got some Cold Steel products to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I like the double sorry. entendre there, Joe. Sorry. I appreciate that. I'm only a little sorry about that one. <laughs> and I love the, the drastic swing of confusion on Paul's face to the <laughs> laughter. That was good. <laughs> I was going to ask what defines a brouhaha, but Joe's answer was funnier. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I, I have no definition anyway, so... Next knife. <laughs> I, I don't think I have enough beer here all right. for all of what's going on right now. So, next knife. <laughs> yeah, the click and cut hunters. This isn't even a new knife. They did this like last year or the year before. It's a They're different just... color of plastic. The dye makes up 60% of the material in this knife. Of course it's a new knife. Blah, blah. Yay, it's blah, a different blah, color. Blah. Next knife. It yeah. both clicks this, and cuts. This is not just a, a new color. This is a new size. This is a new blagger, uh, blagger, huh? Dagger blade for a mini leather neck. So what the hell is this? It's a neck knife. It's a, it's a neck knife. It's a neck They're knife. They're smaller it's, than I thought they were. It's this. Oh so you God. see how this holds in my hand. That handle is what was it? Three and a quarter. Three and a quarter inches long. It's small. three and a quarter. Yeah, it's like a three finger grip. Uh, it's six so and three quarter small. Long. It's like. Like I, this. See, when I saw it, I saw that the handle was kind of like, oh, that looks kind of squished. It might be like a half inch shorter. No, no, no. It's. No. I thought this was going to be a, a fun little belt knife just to mess around with, but it, it's tiny. And they did do a uh, the double sided spear point, the clip point, as well as a tanto point in all these miniature yeah. leather neck, neck knives. I'll, I'll I want the dagger so and the clip point. Them. I kind of want the dagger, it's but so I gotta feel it in hand first because that that handle just seems like it's gonna I be too small. I think the clip point's adorable, right? They're, they're uh, so yeah. silly. You know what it reminds me of is those tiny little aviators, uh, Ontario. Uh, shoot, what were they called? The pilot's knife. Um, but smaller. Yeah, but smaller. Yeah, but yeah. even even smaller because those yeah. were small to begin with. Uh, okay, it's so not. Uh, eight CR. Just wanted, <laughs> I just, just wanted to spit out that they're eight CR. I was hoping they're D two, but they're eight CR. They're, they're, yep. they're cheap, so hey. that's what they're yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's why I'm going to own two. It's a 3V SRK for 259 They already, They already so, had this. It was already a black blade. It's just a stonewash blade now. Yeah. Who the fuck yeah, but they have come out with, like, this is finally when they're rolling out the production line of the 3V run yes. of stuff for, oh. like... Uh, they did a whole bunch of um, okay. the SRK yeah, so, Recon Scout, Trailmaster, so all so the we Bowie. might as well talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so just a quick list here. There's the SRK, the Recon Scout. Oh, I wanted to do a quick list, but they're not stacking okay. them in order. Whatever. Hang, hang on a sec. <laughs> Before you do that quick list... They had a 3V SRK last year that you could order. It was a Black Blade. They had one the year before. The one that everyone's been waiting for is the Recon Scout, the Trailmaster, the Laredo Bowie, the Natchez Bowie, and the Kukri. Mm -hmm. Those, the big boys. Um, and for a lot of us, the Trailmaster, and a lot of us means me, because I don't care what the rest of you think. But... <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, okay. I've already got a Recon Scout. And I think yeah, Nigel's got one, too. In SK5. Yeah. This is a mm -hmm. thick, chunky knife to begin with. I want a Trailmaster with that extra blade length and 3V. That's going to be fun. Yeah, so, to kind of sum it up succinctly here, all those ones listed are long running fan favorites of regular production of Cold Steel, but they finally come out with the 3V versions of them. And I think the main point for all of them is how bloody pricey they are. Yeah, they Holy cost. Cow. So the, re Holy. the Recon Scout wow, is sir. not the largest by any means. It's 474 although they give you a brass card. whoop de do. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's expensive. It's very expensive. That's um, the cheap one, and it goes up from there. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah. The, so yeah. pretty much as we're scrolling through, I think it's going to be safe to save me. Like, yeah, here's another one of these. Yay, it's stupidly expensive, because yeah. we, we all know what they are, but that's kind of the talking point on them now that being said okay so some of us are stupid enough that we might be willing to entertain paying a stupid amount of money for yep. a trail master yep what Fair about enough. you 
What about you, Nigel? Any one of those uh, 3v ones you're interested No, no. <laughs> I was hoping for the Kukri, but I don't want the Kukri Plus because I think the finger guard on it is the silly thing. Mm. So I'm not going to pay the extra money that I know they charge for having that on there when I don't want it on there. Well, here's hoping... And even then, that's just like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, here's hoping they make a slightly cheaper Kukri in 3v, but... Who's, Hopefully! Yeah. yeah. Next night! Oh, I wanna read I'm kind of excited about this one. And we totally just cut Paul off there. Oh, sorry, Paul. What were you saying? I'm just saying, I can't decide if I want a Recon Scout or a Trailmaster more. Trailmaster. Yeah, yeah, I think. Just for yeah. the blade length of 3V, man, it's worth it. Uh, the Oya Bun Limited. And there is mm -hmm. a lower cost version as well. Um, let me actually see here. Can I... I so yeah, this one really reminds me of the uh, like late 80s, early 90s cold steel sort of styling where they did do the run of the really fancy polished bolsters and backspace or pommel and then the cheaper versions yeah and with lynn thompson's signature on this like that makes sense that was kind of his bread and butter it's his style that he enjoyed and this is like his signing off so long see you folks sort of i think that's a good read yeah. of it uh, as in terms of differences between this and the lower cost version, uh, you're looking at something that does not have polished bolsters on the cheaper version, doesn't have the signature, doesn't have uh, S35 VN for the blade steel, and instead swaps it out for uh, 4034. It is also a $70 American price point versus a $300 American dollar price point. So yeah. there's a big old difference there. And with the fancy one, part of the price is they're only doing three thousand five hundred. Yeah, so pretty, li pretty, fairly limited run. Um, Not necessarily a small batch, but limited. Yes. Batch, yeah. Yeah. Personally, I mean, if I get the chance to hold one, I I might cave and buy it because it's just the, yeah. the the right kind of stupid cold steelness that I kind of I like, and I so I, 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 I missed out. Them. Dennis has an older version of the was it the tal the Talwar. I do. I do. Yeah, so. that thing's yeah. slick as hell, and I've always wanted something like that. I think this might be the closest that the, uh, somebody getting into the knife game within the last five years would be able to find for a reason, somewhat reasonable price. Yeah, and then they put the slide lock on it as well. Just I don't. To mop it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually don't hate it on this knife. The fact that it's completely optional to use, I I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm okay with it. Uh, um, right side carry then, only though. It's my real. main comment is that 1986 cold and it wants its knife back. It's um, a period yeah. piece, man. <laughs> it's like Joe, up... do you find yourself in need of an eel knife? <laughs> uh, yeah, apparently, right. Uh, yeah. Do we care the Voyagers are back in Excel or large for that matter? With uh, yeah, they, 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 okay. A lot of people are excited about doing the uh, the drop point. Uh, people have been asking for it for a really long time. So yeah, yeah, of... it's a cool variation, but it's the the standard Voyager handles that Cost everyone standard. knows and loves, and just yeah, change up in the steel. So yeah. next knife, yeah. uh, they large... brought back the micros. That's cool. Well, they're calling mm -hmm. them the mini. Uh, Did, didn't they used to call them the micro? No, I think they were the mini recons. Oh no, and stuff no, these were the, the, the half size. Yeah. No, no, the ones they brought back. I was going to say, the, the micro guy. were really small. Yeah. The mini, this actually is a bit of a step up from size. It's, it's an in These are mini griptilian sized. Mm -hmm. okay. And all in all's 10. Yeah, uh, looks like it. Yeah. So they're cool. No, I, they're cool. I like they're the, cool. I kind of like the look of the clip point, actually. Uh, what's the blade length on these guys? Just super quick here. Next uh, knife. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> three, three inches on the nose, apparently. Okay. Uh, the. The Double Safe Hunter in Camouflage. That's a knife they've already had out before. Um, just now this in Camouflage. This is a kitchen knife that they now put Tim Wells' name on and then rehandled it with red and then re-released it. Yeah. Well, I was trying to... I was just actually looking at that one and trying to find a product description, but there isn't any product description. Because yeah. I want to know what the scalper slock is referring to or if the scalper like the is separate slot. from the slock master. No, or... I don't know, yeah. If you continue to scroll down, there's another series of pocket knives that they call the Slockmaster, and it has that same red. So I, I think it's a Tim Wells related thing. I'm not 100% uh, okay. sure. Okay. Well, yes. well, we'll get to those in a little bit then, I yep. guess. Um, but it's that red handle is his variation of okay. it. But if you look at a long hunter from, again, eight years ago, 
this is just a long hunter that they re-released as a kitchen knife with a sheath. Anyway. Fair enough. Enough. Next knife. Mini um, buckler. Nachos. Well, Nachos. Nachos Bowie 3B. Yeah. It's expensive. Yay. <laughs> Although I do yeah, quite anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mini. The mini buckler. Because they've done a soldier's targe and they've done the regular size buckler, right? Buckler. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the, the mini buckler is pretty cute. Uh, yeah. For yeah. all of your mini buckling needs. I kind of kick myself for not picking. Was that was that a Hanway one that we used to have? Yeah, yeah. I kind of kick really, myself really for not grabbing that one. I could have. Yeah, those were cute. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Next, you know mate. what's you know what's cute? Yeah, the si- six inch Chinese flesh mace. Fuck that yeah, it is man. horrible. <laughs> Dude, that that thing looks devastating. Uh, I can't wait to smash. They say it's a five ounce weight. I don't believe them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a bit of a monster. It's a six diameter. It's a six inch diameter. The Jaeger mace above my head that's over is an eight inch diameter. So it's only two inches smaller. Ah, uh, well, I was actually I was curious about that and trying to flip through the specs here, and they don't say at all. But I was wondering if it was a six inch diameter or six inch length. Because so if black. it was a six inch, oh, if it for was the flanges. a six inch diameter, mm. that's going to be like a two inch dowel in there. It could still be like that's. Yeah, yeah. it's hard to say. Yeah, I, they don't give enough now, info. The fact that this is a Chinese flange mace, maybe if we looked up historical examples, we don't have time for that right now. But if we did, that might give a better idea. It could, yes. Yep, yep. Um, Next saber. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. Simpsons cut in with a nerd as we go to the next. <laughs> You're the biggest nerd out of all of us, man. <laughs> no, no, Joe, I don't think you get to argue that. When it comes to knives? No, no, I don't think you get to argue that. <laughs> anyway. Fine. Uh, what next the hell is saber. this thing? Hungarian saber. They came out with something because they missed the Middle Eastern swords that Cold Steel used to have. So mm-hmm. they re-released another one. Okay, so what's it's, what's going on with that cross guard? It's a cross guard. Nah, the, the, the bit a cross and it guards. Nah, is it like some sort of uh, retention tab for the sheath? That's it what I'm be. thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I well, uh, say what you think, man. Come on. But I, I I wanted to draw attention to it. You bastard. <laughs> I know. I've seen historical examples with similar things like that. So it actually looks like that little flower might be a pressure plate. So you push yeah. that down and it might lift slightly, but it Maybe. looks, it's hard to tell. Or it's, it's just a spring, ta- a spring tab to hold retention when it is closed. It could yeah. just yeah. be. Yeah. Okay. Is that just the lighting or does that thing have a nasty like harpoon hook to the back of the blade? It does a little bit. Gross oh, messer. It's, yeah, yeah. it's, it's got a, a yellow. Bit gross messer. Anyway. Cool. Next something. What's uh, the next, next toothpick? The Arkansas toothpick. Uh, oh. <laughs> I want it. Okay, go ahead, boys. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, it's only two hundred and twenty Americans, so that's uh, pr- pretty digestible. I'm assuming Wait, it's going to be. What steel a, is it using? It doesn't say. It but don't I'm gonna, okay, but I'm, I'm so happy I'm paying two hundred American dollars for something I don't know it's made of. Dude, dude. I mean, it's going to be ten fifty five. If it's, I, I don't care if it's ten fifty five. Uh, this thing looks really cool. I don't know. There's a lot I like about it. Yeah. Um, I know they call it the Arkansas toothpick, but just like the the classiness and all the fittings on it, really m- reminds me of like a uh, Hungarian hunting knife or like mm. dagger. <laughs> sure does. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. The only thing that really gives it away is the the alligator motifs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, yeah, yeah, it's cool. Those are, dra- those are dragons from the north. Okay. <laughs> I mean, they're scary as fuck. So, sure, what call them what you want? They're, they're terrifying. They're uh, next talk. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Demco Hawk. Mm-hmm. So that thing looks yeah. all kinds of nasty. What do you mean? Okay, meh? so talk about that. Cold, Ste- Cold Steel has tried to make one piece tomahawks for many, many years, and they have yet to succeed compared to their wood handles and their poly handled stuff. Sixty-five yeah. mn. This is, yeah, but this is the third reiteration that they've tried to make, like, East Wing style, one piece tang, blah, blah, blah. They should just stick to Hudson Bay Hawks and new variations of, yeah, woods and polys mm-hmm. and... I would, yeah, I would prefer that, but this doesn't look half bad, really. 
it doesn't, but it's an East Wing and they'll fail. And then they'll come up yep. with another version of an East Wing. <laughs> Next right. throw knives. Next. Actually, I'm kind of jacked up about these things. The mini They're blades? Fun. Okay, They're so the, fun. the spikes look pretty cool. Very, very thin yeah, little blades. I want hey? some of those little, the, the black fly spike ones. And, They're cute. And, and even yeah. the other ones. They're like 8 inches in diameter. They're only like 10 American, so very mm -hmm. reasonable, even in Canadian dollars. Mine and you get a like... couple of these. What's the thickness on them? I didn't actually check, uh, but I bet you can't Do steel. they even they're tell probably, you? Uh, two millimeters. Yeah, That's pretty thin. They're fun. But the black fly will be really good for no-spin throws, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm yep. learning no-spin. So. Very cool. I, I might have learned oh. no-spin last year. Oh, oh look at next knife. yeah. Talk about something I wish we could have. No, that this thing is stupid. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but hey, it's only 80 American. So what's the compromise here? They didn't actually use aluminum for the grip, did they? No, it looks rubberized. They used some sort of craton yeah. for the grip. Uh, that being said, the, the knuckle bow itself, is that aluminum? The handle is Grybeck and Craybeck over mold. So it's mm, built like the okay. Karambit is, where it's got the hot, hard, the hard the plastic type yeah. of thing. And then it's rubberized for the actual grips itself. I mean, for the guys so, who like the Chaos series of knives, uh, sure, maybe. Um, the, <laughs> the double punches on either side <laughs> look ridiculous, yeah. but I suppose it could be... I don't know. It's just mean. It's unnecessary. Sure, go but... Ahead, only Nigel. Thing, Nigel, go ahead. Only the only thing I like about it is the silly aesthetics is it reminds me of like a weird cartoon Frankenstein head. If he had his bolts in his temples. Yeah. Yeah. A little <laughs> bit. I appreciate I'm seeing that. Frankenberry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I have to comment that <laughs> we have a group chat and before we aired this episode and we were talking about 2021 products coming out, the two things that came up, was that Arkansas toothpick and this goddamn punch dagger. And of course they had to be daggers because Joe and Paul are part of this goddamn group. I don't think I brought either of those up. <laughs> no, but there was likes left and right. And me and Nigel are just like, um, I kind of dig the no spin throwing knife and the Chinese mace type. I <laughs> like hey, yeah. whatever I we're like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will also buy one of those maces. Those are cool. Oh, wait, wait. We're coming to the third thing that everyone was chatting about. Like, speaking mm -hmm. of next knives. but <laughs> Next knives. Yeah. Four max elite. Why? Why? For An 500 S35. American. An S35. That's for it? 500. Jeebus. I, th I thought they went back much. to, uh, what was that Italian made four max? 20 CV. 20, yeah. And they did uh, on, a 204P or an M39. They did two different versions. I think it was a 204P I'm, and a 20CV. That sounds about right. And one was American and one was Italian. And God. now they were like, no, no, American. I believe it's American. It's, it's not saying Please, here, so... Please tell me oh. it's made in Taiwan. It's yeah, yeah. It, it's it's Taiwanese. It's Taiwanese. It says is so on it the actually? blade. It is. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Good for you, elite brand, being five hundred dollars American when you're made in Taiwan. Not saying Both. that, like Spyderco. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Speaking but, of saluting the elite brand, next knife. Next knife. Yeah. Yeah. The, the silver, silver eye. eye. So the gold eye did not sell particularly well, from what I understand. So they're trying again with a silver eye. Uh, slightly also less an expensive. S35. Yeah, it's basically the exact same thing as the gold. Like, what the hell is the difference? Was the gold eye a Tonto? I think that was the only difference. No, they did um, also a clip point that was something very ugly that had Damascus and it. it was a, like a mm -hmm. stretched out Natchez y looking yeah. clip point. Nightwing yeah. or something had the hole in it. These finger grooves look the super weird. I don't, I don't know, know how those are going to feel in hand, but <clears throat> man. Next knife. Yeah. Next knife. Uh, oh, so the, the 8015 light. Yeah. Yeah. Dun, dun, so, dun. I know I did it myself. Um, just flipping through, it was like, oh, it's just a blacked out 8015. No. No, no. <laughs> no, no. They, they no, do no. have one of those, but this is something it's else. Light. It's it's a light. Yes. So, the reason why it's light, not the fact that they changed the handle materials at all, they just changed it to Oz 10A <laughs> for the blade steel. No, no. They changed the handle materials. Oh, did they? Oh, shoot. I must have missed so, that. Did sorry, they... and. John it's ejected Miss molded, yeah. Oh, it's John Garbex. and Mississauga is saying that the 4Max Elite was 10 ounces. Ouch. 
I mean, I, I don't know how much I trust Cold Steel's website right now, but that sounds like a good a, about the Just right number for that. To back it yeah. up, two knives, I believe that was. Yeah. Anyway, oh, we're yeah, we're blowing yeah. we're blowing through these, so it's always good to check the comments. Okay, but, but yeah, for um, the AB15 light, it is an injected molded Grivex handle instead of the costly 3D CNC machining. And it looks like they still give you the full steel liners, which makes sense because that's actually what the stop is when the knife is closed uh, for the mm -hmm. little studs here. See my scar? Um, yep. But uh, I think this is a super cool idea because it drops the price point by like a hundred bucks. And for people who are vaguely interested in the lock, sure, why not? So I'm going to be curious as far as which company's version of like a Grivex handled version of a nicer knife is going to win out. The uh, CRKT um, Karambit. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, the, <laughs> the, 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 the I'm so bad with remembering the names. Provoke, like, yeah, yeah. Provoke, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Because the they did the the Grivex version of the Provoke Man. this year, so I'm gonna wonder which one's gonna be the better Grivex version. This is better, a hundred percent. Oz Ted versus four one one six. Uh. Well, no, no. As far as like the handle construction oh, of the, oh. the material I'm still, change, I, I still, th I still think the eighty fifteen only because of the steel liners. They look like it's the same construction overall, just different mm -hmm. materials. So, Fair I do, I do believe the eighty fifteen will be the better. But I'm very curious on the new company takeover with a new construction company. Mm -hmm. yeah. And even the transition, like behind the scenes, did Cold Steel have a part of this? Lynn Thompson have a part of this making of the knife last year because it was in development to be released for this year? Like, there's we'll never oh, know some of the yeah. behind the scenes on these 2021 products. There's a ton of and questions how much, about that. How much was GSM, GSR, whatever the G's all about the Texas G? Yep. Yeah. We'll never know. Um, Next knife. <laughs> uh they're not knives they're the two well click and cut clip point three blade pack but no no, no we gotta talk about the <laughs> click and cut caping blade three pack we gotta hey joe <coughs> Next you're a, you're okay a, we'll talk about the gut hook three master. pack, and we'll talk about the cut well, is it, it worth the two dollars um, for the slock master i don't know no. Uh, it's four one one six, man like I'm, next knife and by next knife i mean they put scales on the drop for his bowie yeah, we, yeah. Is it still fifty one two one hundred? Is it? Wait, is wait. it? Is it? It is maybe because it doesn't say. That is fantastic. Specifications Read more. don't say. I hope mm. it's forty thirty four stainless. I can't wait. No, it doesn't say. But maybe on the <laughs> next knife. knife. Yeah, the knife yeah. is in the sheet. Um, I'm going to say that I do like that they are putting the scales into the drop forge series. Because but I'm scared of the fake plastic antler that is going to be in those. Yeah, those are not. Those yeah. are. Those. What are you talking about, man? They're, <laughs> they're, they're fake plastic is fine. It's is oh, anybody opening some trade vibes? If it's actually Delrin, we'll mm -hmm. be okay. That, Here we go. <laughs> uh, That's not. Gurkha Cuckoo That's Plus. Terrible thing to it's three V. Right. It's seven hundred and sixty four ninety nine American. <sighs> 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 okay. What I'm gonna That's do not. here is I'm gonna That's unzip. Not. And then, <laughs> next, next knife, next knife. No. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. Uh, Holy, uh, yeah, look at the price of that cougar. Anyway, and okay. on that, um, yeah, we looked at the budget fully. Oh, you bought already, too. Yeah, yeah. fully. Yep. Say rated six so, inch Zytel handled Chris Blade with let's talk about the new family. Oz 10. <laughs> okay, there's a four inch version available. I want it, I want it in plain edge. Paul wants the full six inch fully serrated because he's a nasty boy, and that's the kind so of shit he's into. Joe keeps talking about it, but he hasn't actually said what it is yet. I said it. I said it several times. Chris? You just kept saying Chris blades. I said you didn't lights. say that they made tie lights with Chris blades. <sighs> I said tie lights. <laughs> I made Get said, your shit together. Come I maybe on. I maybe said them in the wrong order, but I still said them. Damn it. Nope. Anyway, I said all the words. Like Nigel that's says. That's like Nigel says. Was. There's tie lights. <laughs> there's six inches and there's four inches and they're serrated. For the oh. for the record, but there I is... want the six inch serrated and a four inch non serrated because they I, don't make a serrated. I don't actually inch. see them here, but do you know if they make a four inch that's fully serrated? Because it's not turning uh, up I don't on this page. So. I don't believe no. it does. Okay. No, there's only they're, three. They're all Oz ten. Um, th this is kind of interesting for people who bought the uh, the super limited collector's version that Lynn Thompson came out with uh, last year. Oh wait, so. we'll get to another limited edition. Just just Will don't we? you wait. 
Oh, yeah. For sure. Well, I'm not going to wait. I'm going to go to the next knife. Uh, oh, oh, wait, no, we're, we we talked about this already. The double save yeah, hunter. You, you're a slock master. <laughs> Don't call me that. That's rude. What, what the <laughs> hell is a slock? Having said that, I like uh, the drop pointy version that they put on this knife compared mm-hmm. to the clip point that the safe hunter normally is. Well, yeah, there's the orange and green, but yeah. And that, yeah. I think the black version from last year is that clip pointy version as well. So that the draw sense. point on the slock master is good. And it'll it'll match my rosy cheeks when it's cold out. That's adorable. <laughs> this is also an 8CR. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to assume that the others are 8CR, but I, I'll double check just in case. Uh, who cares? Next yeah, time. they sure are. Cherub uh, cheeks. Of sometimes okay, sometimes so it they really didn't ex- help explain what slock master actually is as far as like what no. slock is but there's a company called slock master is built for hunters that live and breathe hunting with these products okay oh. okay okay all right yeah it's a cult is what i heard what it's a cult oh yes of course knowing's half the battle well on in their main menu there's a tab that says you can join the tribe like i said cult yeah, that sounds like it. So, um, speaking of uh, cults, yeah, five and a half inch tower, fully serrated, fully serrated, and and plain edge, both in S thirty five. Just for I know, all your cooing needs. I know John's going to be excited about that one. Oh. Um, yeah, there was comments um, that some of our customers had about how excited they were that the XLs were back. The thing's mm. terrifying. Yeah. Um, I have a four inch around here somewhere. But this, anytime you get yeah. a five to a six like, inch blade from Cold Steel that's fully serrated, like they made a Marauder that was fully serrated. Like how nasty do you want to go? Jesus Christ. Next Ugh. time. They're not friendly. <laughs> um, okay, so range bosses. Yeah, you okay. Think. They ripped off some Cold Steel Austin, didn't they? Kinda. <laughs> Kinda. Not really, but, but kind of. But hang on, because there's also the ranch boss. There sure but is. But the ranch boss, amongst its flaws, uh, SK5, for $35, I believe, American or something like that, $37. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, this one is plastic handles. I don't think it's G10. I think it's, it's plastic. It's not. It's injection molded. Um, and 4034 for over $50 American. Hmm. Yep. Is it a triad? Yeah, it's a triad. Okay, maybe because it's a triad. <laughs> That's still a stretch. It's still a stretch. It sure is. That's one extra pin and a little bit of extra. It's a decent amount of extra machining, but it's a, you know for price point wise. It's, Speaking it's, of stretches, next or knife. possibly the opposite, next knives. Uh, okay, so they call them the mini Japanese reinforced, but the the name of the model is the Kyoto Two. I don't know why the naming is different on Cold Steel's website. I think somebody's uh, not doing their job properly, maybe. But Yeah, um, yeah so out of this series, they've got the, uh, like it. as Joe mentioned, the Japanese Reinforced, as well as the uh, Japanese Tanto Point. Yes. I am actually interested in the okay, Reinforced. Okay, so the, re- the Reinforced is going to be Tokyo tipped. Mm-hmm. In case all of those people who don't know, it's going to be the swedge on the back, like the Tokyo Spike, and that's fantastic news. It, it doesn't yeah. show for, a swedge on the back. There's nothing for, like that there. What? No, I just, like a little, little spear. I'll get a spike. Oh, I don't have a spike with me. It's in the other room. The mini I know the one you're talking about. Yeah, yeah no, I, I agree with your theories here, Dennis, but the picture doesn't show if there is anything there or not. So it's yeah, it's very two D like, but you can kind yeah. of tell with the way that it up sweeps a little bit when you look at it that yeah, it's gonna have that reinforced tip for sure. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't um, mind it. And with three mils and how stubby it is, that's super cool. <laughs> like just um, yeah, three and a quarter inch blade. <laughs> yeah, and this one has a slightly longer handle than the mini Leatherneck, so I'm probably gonna own one of these things. They're an 8CR, Mm -hmm. but they're going to be a cute little belt knife to mess around with. Steel steel guards. This has been one of my long-standing complaints with cold steel belt knives. A lot of them have rubber. There's there's steel guards on these things. Um, How many neck knives? They go around your neck, Joe. They all go around your neck. How many? Here, I got this best tag here. I'll just, I'll just give it to you, so you can strap that one on for next time. So, Jesus, I will, I will (laughs) elaborate on Joe's point there for the hate of the rubber guards for Cold Steel's belt knives. It's because of the sheaths. 
Yes. Uh, they they mold their sheets quite tightly, which is very nice because it gives you a very secure fit. But it wears away the rubber quite fastly and okay. is a potential for ruining the fit of the sheath. Um, yeah. There was big to the scuffs there. There was big complaints back in the day with a lot of the carbon V, carbon five, whatever you want to call it, ones. Mm with them wearing yeah. down over time because they hadn't got that kind of like mixture yeah. figured out yet. And I will say yeah. that the rubber from these days are not rubber, but whatever the material is called seems to hold up better than the old stuff. But still, if I'm going to be given the option, I'll take steel any day. Yep. Next knives. Next knives. We Rail master. On the, we've dabbled on the three Vs. Yep. I'm just going to say. Rail master, Laredo Bowie, and the Master Tanto, all in three V, yeah. all way too expensive. I'm going to throw out there as well that the Master Tanto you could buy last year, it was just in the Black Blade, so that's not really that big of yeah. news as much as the Trail Master <laughs> and the but Laredo. I'm excited about these. Not necessarily the holdout okay. that's fully serrated. Not even the plain edge in a six inch. But they came out with a little three-inch, guys. I'm so the excited. The baby families and the big families. I'm excited about that, too, actually. The yeah, baby ones. Yeah. I really like the baby ones. G10 mm -hmm. and S35, just like the Talwars. Um, I've been kicking myself for not picking up one of the minis in XHP when they were available. But now that they're back in S35, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. I bet yeah. you this knife is super slicey, too. Oh, oh, Jesus, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, I mean, yeah. the 6-inch that I have you know, kicking around somewhere, it's slicey as hell. The 3-inch, it's going to be ridiculous. And the ergos are going to be like a hockey stick. So, you know. And, and for those American viewers, a hockey stick is like... <laughs> like sorry. <laughs> brutal, brutal. Um, I actually don't mind the prices on these guys. Anyway. Um, on the small ones, the big ones are a little crazy. The big ones are... The small it's, ones are much more reasonable. It's a lot of S35, though, is the only thing, I guess. Um, it is. That's a big knife. Anyway, next knife. Speaking of next knives... Gunsight. They said that it was a limited... They said... Uh, oh, this is limited and serialized. That's, what? They did it again? Yeah, limited just, run and serialized. Or is it just still going? It's the same description <laughs> no, that they used. It it's says still going. all new for 2020. This yes, is they're just does. trying to push it more. Yeah. Yeah, it's still just going. Oh, so, they're, so they're not so selling. They're not selling. They're not selling. Yeah. I, was, I was ready to bitch about how it was limited edition last year, and everyone was like going to be grabbing them because they were limited. And then, no, they're still limited. Nope. They still have 1,700 that they can't get rid of. <laughs> but, but, they say, but it says product coming soon. How many do they make? How are they having trouble selling them and not and having trouble selling them? And it's 129 which is actually a similar price point. Yeah, I don't know. This is very interesting. Okay. We'll have to... We might come back to this at some point because that's very strange. Put a pin strange. in the, the drama that may or may not be a gun sight. Yeah. Yep. Next night, anyway. right? Oh, yeah, uh, so well... It, okay, so next few... Soon. But they're yeah, the next few, knives. they don't have images. Um, next two are Balassons. We can't get them, so they're not that special. But cool thing is S35, and it's like almost a five-inch blade on them. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. S35 is expensive. S35 is one thing, but did you see what the actual handle is made out of? I did not. No, I just flipped quickly for the steel just because of the price point. You should on probably them. pause on that because I, I know we can't get them as Canadians. But they're stainless MIM handle. So, so boys. Mill metal injected middle? No. Uh, metal injected. Me metal injected molded. Uh, Kershaw did it with the oh. uh, weird blade that they molded the 440C blade out of. Yeah. <laughs> Same MIM injected molded metal process that huh. they're doing that Kershaw did with the blade a decade ago. Whatever the hell that weird knife was called. Yeah. yeah. That is huh. intriguing. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm looking forward to seeing it, even if I'll never own one. But they're, yeah, that's metal, cool. they're metal injecting into a mold to make these handles. So it's not casting. It's not drop. No, I, I understand that part. It was the Kershaw what, knife. Yeah, what knife you were knife referencing. Oh, uh, what was it called? If you just put I in MIM uh, knife Kershaw, it'll come up for sure. Kershaw yeah. MIM, the offset? Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Just super the quick. Blade, the blade they did on a 440C. Oh, they, Jesus. Uh, That's a weird metal injected thing. molded the blade. History lesson. Boom. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's going to be a cool part of the battle songs. I just don't know what that's going to be like, and I never will. <laughs> because yeah. we don't get it. 
Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. All right, all right. The next few yeah. are a click and cut again, click and cut again, click and cut again, and that's it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Lockmaster. That's all, folks. <laughs> Oh, wow. All right. Uh, let us know if there's any anything you want us to highlight or talk about, but uh, favorites. Ni- uh, Nigel, what's your favorite? Um, I'm just scrolling back through to try and decide because I, I don't know. Probably going to be the flange mace, the, the six-inch Chinese flange mace. <laughs> How did yeah. I know? Yeah. How it's either going to be that or the uh, black fly spike throwers. Let me bring up pictures of both of those. Yeah, those are the main. Okay. Yeah, because I had been first. holding out hopes for the three V uh, Kukri, but I don't want the the Kukri Plus. And with the price point, no, that's definitely not my favorite pick for the new stuff. I understand. Okay, the flanged mace. Mm-hmm. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'm pretty sure you could throw that thing and make the flanges stick with a proper target. Yeah, oh, you yeah. probably could. Like, yeah, my yeah. target's pretty dense right now because it hasn't been chewed up, so it, it might stick on that one, but, I mean, if you got a soft <laughs> enough target, you could get a good rotation on that thing. Yeah. Probably. Challenge accepted. <laughs> yeah. For sure. I'm with you on that. For sure. And those, yep, those, yep. And those black flies look pretty cute. Are you going to try no spinning mm-hmm. them as well, Nigel? Or Yeah. Very cool. Very yeah, cool. they look like a good option for no spinning. I, I dabbled with it with my condors, and I actually started. Oh, oh, so yeah, cut out there back. a little bit. Getting uh, choppy. But you're back now. Yeah, you're back okay. now. It seems. Yeah. Um, sorry, just talking about doing some no spin last year and had some success. Mm-hmm. So I think yeah, I'm also intrigued by these spikes because. Yeah. Okay. I, I and yeah, myself, I've, yeah, I've played around with doing no spin stuff, but nothing with any knife that was really designed specifically for that. Right. So it seems like with the taper on it, it might be more butt and heavy and nicer for the release for no spin. Mm-hmm. Um, I find that I'll do like two or three throws. That'll be like nice and go towards the target. And then just randomly it'll one will just go straight up <laughs> and like, yeah, I'll, I'll feel like I'm consistent. I'll feel like I'm doing the same thing, but just the balance of the weight of the knife will shift, shift slightly and I find it's not as intuitive as rotation when I'm learning mm-hmm. it for myself, at least. And I know everyone's different, but yeah. Um, so which one of you guys wants to tell us that the Arkansas toothpick is your favorite? Oh, uh, <laughs> I think Paul, I think Paul does. I think Paul has the honors here. Yeah. Okay. Um, so which one of you two wants to tell us that the fully serrated Chris highlight is your favorite? Paul also <laughs> wants to tell you those things. <laughs> So no, I have I have different choices. Really? Okay. What, Screw what, you, you do. What's your What's your top two? Then? Mini leather neck clip point. Oh, yeah. I hate you for taking my answer. I have a backup. Second choice is uh, where it's is all, it now? It's gonna be the Arkansas backup. Backup. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Um, where the closely hell followed by the Chris Dad, um highlights. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm Joe and Cassandra hard. No, no, no. Okay. It's, uh, it's, it's all right. Just because you already <laughs> stole my answer and I might as well pick a follow-up so I can Joe it up myself. Hey. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, the Leatherneck Clip Point Mini Jesus, but the reinforced Japanese thing too. Yeah. Um, the minis. For some reason, I'm super stoked about the stubby Mini little... fixed blades. You, you're on a bit of a <laughs> kick, man. Oh, I love it. You like I have bears. Uh, yeah, they're so silly. Um. <laughs> I wish I could get on the train of the 3V stuff. I wish I could. Yeah. Um, it That's hurts my right. feelings with the price point. It does. Like, I mean, you can upgrade to a COS modern Bowie from Fall Niven for in the same rice Dude, that you're paying you can for get, this one. You can, like get some, you can get some arguably nicer Barkies. Bark River, yeah, Michigan Bowie. Yeah. Yeah, and you can I know, you, I know you're sad cheaper. about it, Dennis. But stop talking into your hand. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> Leg- you were legible, but that's probably a good point. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm just stained. I'm just no, stained about the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I well, knew where the feeling was coming from for that, but yeah. <laughs> so my top pick would have been the 3V Trail Master had it not been for the price point. Um, the this I think the singular thing I'm most excited about, honestly, is the uh, the, the mini holdout. Uh, I, I've been, just because of how long I've been hunting this stupid thing, um, I've talked about it for like a year, and they give it to me in S35. It's like, 
Fuck yeah, that's awesome. And, and the price point, we dabbled on it briefly before yeah, we had great. to hit the next knife button. But I will reiterate <laughs> that the one thirty five for a mini is not bad, not bad at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased about that. Uh, and we're gonna train on uh, <laughs> Dennis's other answer, the mini Japanese reinforced point. Yeah, 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 that thing's cool. It, one's coming home with me. It's. <laughs> I think yes. that's, I think those are my top two that I'm actually able to afford. <laughs> and can I yeah. just take one of everything in the catalog, please? Well, okay, so yeah. even the um, click and cuts, even the click and cuts. We have yeah. time for one last question. We really don't, but I'm going to throw it out there. The most like, <laughs> unique cold steel thing. Well, I, I mean, don't know. I was going like, to say the butterfly knives, but they've actually they did the archangel in the past, so. And they've done the paradoxes, so it's not and really. And they've like done a version of a mace, and they've done like they're really like. There's nothing really original here, but g- given the transfer of ownership here, is that really all that surprising? They didn't do anything that I was like, "Whoa, where did that come from?" Although the mm-hmm. Arkansas toothpick is probably, I would pick that one as far as maybe. I just. But they've. Yeah, I no longer want easy. a chieftain sax. I want this instead. <laughs> I like the styling yeah, of this more, but yeah. I mean, I love the minis. I think it's a new twist on what they've done, and I think they'll be really successful, but I don't necessarily think it's like a, something new from, mm-hmm. from Cold Steel. Yeah, there's nothing really new here, which honestly, again, given where the brand, what the brand's been up to lately, it kind of makes sense. It's expected. You're not going to see anything too crazy out of the gate. Well, and the theory for the last two years is just variations, whether they're lightweight variations or whether they're whatever. Like it's, yeah, that has been a bit of a theme is minimizing the originality and going off of a tried and true. Let's just twist this and see if we can make it work. And let's twist this and come up with three more bug outs. And let's, like, yeah. For a Benchmade so, fanboy, you seem uh, a little salty, <laughs> but I don't blame you. I don't. I don't blame you at all. They just... finally came out with a bug out that tempts me enough to buy it, but yep. I also have a bailout that I reprofiled, so that's going to be a tough sell on top of that anyway, right? Like it's mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah, you crazy. A little bit. So yeah, um, I think that should be about that. Yeah. Yeah. There was a point that I was going to make very quickly, and I have forgotten it. Well, that doesn't help. <laughs> that doesn't help at all. No. Um, All right, Slockmaster. Was there uh, <laughs> was there any other questions in the You're comments? You're not allowed to call that. Um. No. Yeah, no. I don't know. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. I've made it at least three episodes without mentioning my bailout. By the way, <laughs> like. <laughs> Well, before he has the chance to go on about it for too much longer, I'm going to cut it off here. If you haven't seen the episode, there's a whole... <laughs> <laughs> Don't shout out your reground bailout. Come on. It's too late. So make, sure you, make sure you uh, like and subscribe. Uh, head on over to the Patreon to see what sorts of goodies and prizes and behind the scenes content that we have come out and might come out with in the future. And yeah, do those things like us and help us grow. Follow us on Instagram. Do it, please. Mm -hmm. That too. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) That being that, this is Nigel the Smith signing off. Uh, I am who I am. I'm Dennis Vipers. I am the Iron Joe. And I'm Exile.ca. We will see you again next time. We don't need bigger knife. Bigger. Yeah.